Hello there, I'm Mahan Bhagavati, and today I'll be discussing the Mughal dynasty and uh, its art before the 17th century. The Mughal dynasty was founded by Babur, a directed descendant of Amir Taymor, from what is now called Uzbekistan. As a youth, Babur, a prince of the house of Taymor, was unable to maintain his sovereignty over the small Central Asian state bequeathed to him by his father. Instead, he turned his attentions to the southeast, where he occupied Kabul in 1504. Babur had defeated both the forces of Ludi Sultan and those of the Hindu Confederacy. However, at the time of his death in 1530, he had not yet transferred his territorial acquisitions into an empire. This task was left to Human, Babur's son and the successor, who unfortunately lacked the military geniuses of his father at the time. Uh, only through Persian military intervention did he manage to regain the capital cities of Agwar and Delha in 1555. Yet it is human son Akbar who could be credited with the real foundation of Mughal Empire. Therefore, um, we could see that Akbar was deeply interested in spiritual and religious issues and in 1582 formulated a new code of religious behavior. Weekly discussions at the court include not only represented of various Muslim religious communities but non-Muslims, uh, theological and Hindus, Jains, Christians, Jews and Zoroastrians. So we could see that there were several religious uh, people, representatives, who attained these courts and uh, had their opinions and they were um, uh, representing their ideas and thoughts. And um, Akbar was also the first great Mughal patron of the arts. Of his various building projects, the most ambitious was the new capital city of Fatpur Sukhuri near Aguera, uh, building mostly between 1571 and 1585, Akbar adapted Lowari and his principal residence. The, the palace buildings at Fapur Sukhari reflected the synthesis of Timru traditions of Iran and Central Asia with the injunctions of Hindu and Muslim Indians. Now we can see that uh, Mughal dynasty had several traditions and backgrounds and art and it was like uh, combined and they had influences of other traditions and cultures which made this art and their history really interesting to me and we could see that in fact artists who uh, worked for Akbar the first great Mughal patron of the art of the book included Persians as well as Indian Muslims and Hindus. And for a long time, patriots were always of men and often accompanied by generalized women. So we could see a lot of patriots, uh, art, uh, men were, uh, men were in the arts and women, women were uh, seen as um, servants. But the interesting thing about Mughal dynasty is that uh, they had um, several cultures and backgrounds and traditions and from other uh, nearby states and which made it really interesting. I think you guys should take a look at it.